Hey Strength Faction, this is Coach Mike coming at you with just a tip. This week I'm going to talk about the kettlebell armbar and two things to look out for that will help you uh, dial your technique in with this movement. Alright, so uh, once we have our, our solid position established and we know exactly where we need to be in the armbar, uh, a couple things to look out for. So Dan, I'm going to have you come up above. <clears throat> so I'm just going to get into good position for a kettlebell armbar. Okay, uh, so a couple of things to look out for here. One is uh, having that shoulder shrug in towards the ear, right? So we want to stay away from this and make sure that we're keeping that shoulder packed. We don't need to crank on it, just enough tension to hold that shoulder centrated and keep your good shoulder position away from the ears, right? The other point that we want to look for is that we're not rotating or we're not kind of overextending with that shoulder backwards to get the stretch in. We want to make sure that we're keeping that shoulder girdle perpendicular to the floor. We're going to get our work done by kind of gently, as you exhale, rotating that hip pointer towards the floor, right? So think of the way you would do a hip bridge, a body weight movement hip bridge, right? You want to keep your shoulders parallel to the deck. I'm sorry. You want to keep your hips parallel to the deck and your shoulders perpendicular to the deck. Same principle here, right? So our goal is to work our way towards getting our hips, perpendic uh, our hips horizontal with the deck and our shoulder girdle stays perpendicular to the deck. So quick recap, shoulder packed away from the ear. Uh, let your hips do the movement, and we want to keep our shoulder girdle stationary. All right, so give those a practice and hit us up with comments or questions, and we'll see you next week.